You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. A special prosecutor has indicted Jesse Smollett, uh, saying that he made up uh, an attack that took place there. He has to report to court by February 24th. Uh, Mustafa, I want to start with you. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, you talk about what they did here. First of all, special prosecutor, Kim Fox, of course, is the elected district attorney. They chose not to prosecute him. Mm -hmm. But this prosecutor essentially used the exact same evidence as before uh, to go ahead and indict him. But we also know, now you're dealing with, of course, you had the police chief who came out, uh, yep. you know, loud and thunderous. He since quit resigned, yes. got fired, actually, by, by the mayor uh, because of his old issue, whether he's having an affair, got drunk, or whatever the hell, was taking medicine, or whatever. Uh, and so, you got to ask yourself the question, uh, can you actually even get a fair hearing I, as a result? Can Justice Smollett get a fair hearing as a result of this? I don't think so. Uh, I think it'd be very difficult, considering all of the officials who've come out and said certain things, and, 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 and all the attention that they've placed on this case. So I think it would be very difficult for him to actually get a fair hearing. Um, Kim Fox gave her reasons why she um, chose to dispose of this case. Here's what I might find to be interesting. Her deal was like, even if we convicted him, he he, he wouldn't go to jail. And so what ends up happening if they find go forward with this and then they still say, okay, community service? I don't... Like, you're going to... Why are they still pursuing this at all? Like, this is such a waste of taxpayer dollars for the citizens of Chicago. How many other problems do they have where that money could be put to better use? Yeah. I, 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 I didn't, I don't understand. I, I just do not understand why they are going after this man. And also, this comes down a few weeks before Kim Fox's primary right. in March. Mm. So, this, let me, just let me add something Go real ahead. quick. You find, over time, people trying to build their careers off the names of mm -hmm. celebrity cases. Mm -hmm. So we have to ask the question if this is another example of that. And now, like a former, uh, the uh, special prosecutor, uh, former U.S. attorney in Chicago, was appointed by a judge six months ago to review the evidence against Jesse Smollett and consider filing new charges. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think that you know, we, I, I was one of those from the beginning who questioned whether or not what um, Jesse Smollett was saying was true. And we found out, at least by all accounts, it seems as if he was lying. So let's agree to the fact that he was actually lying. Now, how, another, how, now how, special. How, 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 hold, on, hold up. First of all, we can't agree can't do that. the fact that he was lying because we don't know that. Right. Well, by, no. by, by, all the, by all the evidence that we've seen, at least the people that he accused of the crime. Well, well hold on, wait a minute, hold up. We talk about Trump lying, and we say well, he benefit the see, doubt. But we don't have to do the Bloomberg and talk about Trump here. No, I'm, it, I'm not doing the Bloomberg. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying is we can't, how, how can we agree that Jesse Smollett is lying? Okay. How? Well, we don't have to agree. I'll say that Jesse Smollett Based is on lying. what? Based on the fact that people that he accused of lying, I mean, I'm sorry, the people that he actually um, identified as the ones who assaulted him right. were the ones that the police department, or at least the prosecutor said, could well, they, no, they weren't. Could they be lying? They very well could be, that, but, that, that, but that, we that, have to go with the evidence that we have. No, right. actually, so, no, no, actually, no, no, actually, we don't. Well, and no, I, I mean, think... Well, up. We earlier talked about the case of Amy Klobuchar, when she was a district yeah. attorney, where there was no physical evidence, there were no eyewitnesses, there was no DNA. So what you're saying is we are to believe the cops. Well, what, what, what I'm saying is is that we still have, let's say you're, all of you all are right, that maybe it really did happen. No, we're not, no, no, we're well, not saying the one's right. Okay. Well, no, I'm not saying that Justice Smollett told the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying Justice Smollett lied. What I'm saying is you said, let's all agree that he lied. We can't. Okay, well, we, we don't have to agree that he, that he lied, but... It seems as if that's exactly what he did. If not, that means that there are still two white MAGA-loving Trump supporters roaming the street of streets of Chicago somewhere. Maybe they're there. I don't know. I think probably part of the part of um, Smollett's problem is is that how he handled it even after. Um, 
he was loud, if you will. You know, he came out and he made the statement. He was very defiant, you know, and he had people out there defending him. I actually agreed with you that this very well could be a, you know, a celebrity case, someone trying to build their name off a celebrity case. But there were, there were lots of resources that Chicago used to investigate something that we can just say was never actually proven. And there seems to be more evidence pointing to his guilt than his actual um, innocence as far as what he's claiming. It was interesting, Mustafa, uh, that the special prosecutor used some of the same cops who were involved in the initial investigation into his. That, to me, makes no sense. To me, that if you wanted to run a clean case, you would say, I'm not going to use any police officers who were involved in the first investigation and have a new set of officers essentially go back, double-check their work, re-interview people as well. Right. That, that, that's, to me, how you should have run this. Yeah, most definitely. You, you go out, get the new evidence, because evidently, if you're going to bring a case back again after the former person said, well, there's not enough here for us to do something, then you must be bringing some new information in. And we should also remind ourselves that supposedly in our country, you are innocent until proven right. guilty. It, right. So that should be the starting point from, from where we're at. All right, folks, back to our roadmark unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, are you looking to enhance your leadership skills? Are you trying to enhance those or your team as well? Well, if so, you should join Dr. Reverend Dr. Jackie Hood Martin for uh, her newest online course and mastermind group, How Successful People Think. She'll be your guide as you learn timeless leadership principles to apply to daily living. The offer expires February 28th. To register to, or start the course online, go to www.livetolead.com forward slash Leesburg. That's www.live, L-I-V-E, the number two, lead, L-E-A-D dot com Fort slash Leesburg. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.